In this video, I'm going to talk about the Curve tool, which is one of the most powerful tools in Boxy SVG. The Curve tool allows you to turn a raster image into a vector one by tracing it over using vector lines. So for example, I have a raster coffee mug here in my Boxy SVG program. And I know it's raster because when I go to click on it using the Edit tool, it doesn't actually light up. In fact, only the outer perimeter would light up because it's an image. It is not a vector design. There are two different curve tools to pick from over on the tool menu here. The first one is the quad tool and the second is the cubic curve tool. You'll notice that the cubic curve tool has two little dots over a curve line when the quad has a single dot. Basically if you're going to trace a really complex design you might want to use the cubic because it has more accuracy but if you're doing something simple like this coffee mug the uh, the quad tool is really simple enough for you to use. So to get started what you want to do after selecting the tool is click in your starting point. So I'm going to click over here in my starting location and I'm not clicking and dragging I just clicked once and you'll notice that this red line is actually following me around here. So then I go to click in my finish point. So now I have drawn a line in between these two red dots. If I want to go ahead and just continue to work my way around, I'm now going to draw a curve by actually clicking and dragging. So I just drew a curve there. And by default, the curve tool assumes that you want to continue the next curve. If you want to go back to drawing a straight line, you just simply hold Shift, Alt, or Option, depending on whether you're on a Mac, PC, or a Chromebook. So now I'm drawing a straight line. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my shape by connecting this final dot and clicking and dragging to draw another curve. Now you'll notice it went ahead and it created a gray fill. That is just by default the default fill, so I'm going to actually go ahead and turn that fill off and then I can go ahead and actually step up the outline so you can see the vector line that I just traced here. So I just traced this red line over my coffee mug. I'm going to continue this process by tracing the outer part of the mug here, so I'm just going to click and then click and drag whenever you want a curve. And again, if you want to reset your tool, you can simply hold shift to actually reset your curve tool as you work your way around. Now I'm not doing the best job here, but what I, I recommend, and if you make a mistake, you can very simply hit Control Z to go backwards. Uh, and what I recommend is that you work around your object in small stages. So again, I'm just going to turn off my fill here so I can kind of see what I'm doing and then always pressing shift to reset as I work my way around by clicking and dragging and creating various curves and straight lines here to trace an object. I'm sure you guys can do a better job than what I'm doing right now. Going for speed here. Okay, so I've just finished that and again what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bold red outline so you can see that I've just traced my coffee mug. So I just turned these two parts of the coffee mug into a vector design. If I wanted to edit something, so for example right here I didn't do the best, didn't do the best job, I can actually use the edit tool to click on individual points and then go back and actually edit and clean up my tracing. So if you want to fix any mistakes you made after you draw them, you can.